Living in the city of Bel Air comes with its perks. The schools are highly rated, the neighborhoods are safe and sound, and it's all within close distance to the amenities of Wichita. You do feel like you are away from everything, um, but still close. But former realtor Hillary Allen says Bel Air is missing something big. There definitely needs to be some shops, um, something close by. Uh, bring everybody together and others agree. Just take a drive around town and you'll see pretty much houses and nothing else. It's something not lost on the city's manager. This gathering space is not only something that's needed and wanted by our community, but also that um, businesses will want to be around. But residents have tried. In 2009, city leaders approved a development project at 49th and Webb. A $3 million mill levy was passed to pave and build water and sewer lines in the area. It cleared the way for Tierra Verde, who bought the land to build a grand project, which included a culinary school, art institute, hotel and restaurants. The sign has been built, but that's about it all these years later. So what went wrong? Sales didn't come, the development didn't move forward, and so she failed to pay taxes and special assessments on the open property that's here. And Ty Lasher with the city says Tierra Verde never paid the 600,000 for the taxes and loan payment. The city ran up a tab instead until the land foreclosed. And so now we've got roughly 650, almost 700,000 in, into it. So how does the city get the cash back? The answer, by adding more homes. They really custom designed the homes from the floor plan on up. We're gonna be looking 500 and up. Custom homes like this one, but apparently a lot bigger. And the sale of land for these high dollar homes are how the city says residents will be repaid. If we were to sell, um, 10 lots at $100,000 a lot, that's 600,000 that recoups the profit that was spent or the uh, special assessments that were paid on this. But Alan calls the plan a tad ambitious. I think that's great positive thinking. I do feel as though with Bel Air property taxes already through the roof, uh, the specials, the utilities, and not to mention what, what does Bel Air have to offer to these people? A problem that doesn't worry the city manager who says it has a fix in the works. Right across from City Hall, the idea was to create a gathering space that we could then bring in the retail and commercial establishments around that. 